Hello, and welcome to our first math lesson. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the number 10. So what I'd like for you to do is get out of the bag that we gave you 10 connecting cubes. Only 10, because we're going to be looking just at the number of 10 today. I am going to be using 10 black connecting cubes. So I want you to count it with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those ten connecting cubes, they can be spread out in a lot of different ways. So I'm going to take my ten connecting cubes and I'm going to make a set of staircases with them. So watch me. Here we go. I'm going to take these four and that's going to be the first one. Then, I'm going to put three more right next to it. So watch me. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to put two next to that. So watch me. Here we go. So I've got one and two. And then, I'm going to put this last one here. So I've got one, two, three, and four. But I still have ten connecting cubes. Let's make sure. Make sure I didn't get lose any. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So here's what I would like for you to do. I would like you to take a few minutes and use your ten connecting cubes only ten and make some different shapes with it. And then I want you to draw those shapes on page one in your math workbook. We'll come back in just a few minutes and talk about what you drew. All right, welcome back. Let me show you what I drew in my page one of my book. And I even I even gave each of my pictures a name. So you can see I can and in the first picture here get my finger on it, sorry. The first picture, I drew a, there it is, a cake. And I'm, I numbered each one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see I used all ten of my cues. The next one over, I did a picture frame. And again, I labeled the numbers one through ten to make sure I used all ten of my cues in my picture. And then down here at the bottom, I did stairs like I had showed you before, numbered them again, 1 through 10, and then finally I drew a bed, so a, kind of probably a pretty hard bed if it was made out of uh, connecting cubes, right? But you can see again that I numbered each one, 1 through 10. Alrighty, so now we're going to take a look. I want you to turn in your math books to page 2, and if you turn to page 2, it's going to look like this. I want you to look at page two, and I want you to look at how we can make equations that represent the number 10. So we're going to use our 10 cubes, and we're going to make equations. So if you look at this first picture at the top, where the connecting cubes are red, you're going to see that they had three on the bottom, three on the next row, two on the row after that, and 2 on the top, and then they wrote an equation. You can see it here, and you can trace over that equation in your book. The equation is 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 equals 10. So take a minute now, and I want you to trace over that equation. And then we're going to talk more about it in just a minute. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Alrighty, welcome back. I hope you had a chance to fill in your equation. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2, and you found that those add up to 10. Alright, let's take a look at this next one down here. So how many cubes are on the top, and how many cubes are on the bottom? So let's count it and see. So across the top, we have 1, 2, three, four, five. And across the bottom we have one, 
two, three, four, and five. So if we were to write that as an equation over here, we would write, take a moment and think about it, and while you're thinking about it, I'm going to write what I think it is. Let's see if we agree. All righty. I thought that because there were five cubes on the top and five cubes on the bottom, that that was a picture of the equation 5 plus 5 equals 10. Alrighty, so I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to finish the remaining equations on the page. And then I want you to tear that out and put it in your orange folder to return to your teacher on Friday. Alrighty, have a great rest of your day. Bye!